when referencing on our achievements and things that we actually can do and the things that we have done, I feel like we have to at some point come to the realization that only you can limit you. And what I mean by that is a lot of the limitations and I guess stresses and enforcement we place on ourselves or we think the world places on us is ultimately always placed by us. Whether or not you think it's, it's true or not, I feel like it doesn't matter. Because regardless of which, it's about what you accept and what you hold dear and what you hold as truth in your heart. Whether or not it's from somebody else, like if somebody says, oh, Ian, you can only do this. And I believe them, then I'm the one limiting myself because I chose to believe that or I allowed myself to have that perspective of myself. And that's why I always feel like subtle stress should be placed on broadening your perspective of yourself and understanding that whoever you are and whatever you want to become is a matter of your thoughts. It's a matter of how you think yourself to be and how you allow yourself to be in the real world. And when I'm saying allow yourself to be, I mean, how much of yourself you're allowing to be dictated by that, which is not you. And I'm not saying be selfish, I'm not saying be narcissistic in any way, but realize that if you want something, it has to be you that's getting it. You know, story, I think it's important to make sure you're the one that's writing it. Otherwise, it's written by something else or something else. You know, and in reference to my own life, I feel like the most important thing that I've done for myself was sort of allow myself to be, you know, allow my certain nuances, my certain whatever negative aspects I wanted to escape from to be. Because the more I allowed them to be seen, the more I let them, you know, not exist in a shadow, the more they were brought to light, the more they were overpowered. That's why I always say, like, if the light comes from you, then you cast no shadow because I feel like our negative aspects and the parts that we run from aren't necessarily negative as much as they are hidden, as much as they are unhealed. And you can't heal what you don't acknowledge. You know, a lot of times I feel like it's just about looking at yourself without, you know, the bias of how you want to be perceived in your mind, but how you actually are. Looking at things for how they are and accepting yourself for who you are so you can accept the world how it is and others how they are. And I feel like once you get to that point, then it makes it easier to to influence whatever you want to influence because you're seeing things how they are, not how you want them to be. And expectation only strips us away from that that opportunity because if you expect something to be a certain way, then you, you don't think your influence is going to do anything or you think your influence is going to do something very specific. And when it doesn't, I feel like we get into a state of feeling like whatever we're doing is not enough for the situation and we feel like we don't have power in this situation when we do. A lot of the times it's just about being calm and present enough to act. And when I say that, I don't just mean just simple action like to be there and act, but to act upon whatever you feel is necessary for the situation. Sometimes I feel like the choices we make aren't necessarily um, inherent to to who we are, but more so how we think the situation is and how we think we are in the situation. And a lot of times I think it's our relationship to the situation that often brings issues within them because we think that we're the issues in the situation. We think that whatever our problem is, is going to be present within the situation. And just because we think that, I feel like it is present. If we feel like we're bad at doing something and we're actually good at it, we feel like we're just going to mess up. I feel like you're going to mess up because you're thinking you're going to mess up. You know, you think you're going to do something. So it, it opens the door to that possibility. And that's what I mean by saying... You know, acknowledgement of negativity isn't necessarily negative. You know, I feel like it is. The more I've experienced, the more I realize that it's sort of okay to have that in mind, to to realize that a negative potential exists, to realize that this could go wrong, this could go this way, because it opens you up to caution. It opens you up to the realization that certain actions have certain consequences. And I think, you know, that's what the mind should be used for. You know, not a console, but something, a tool, a tool that we can use to help us out. And when it comes to that, it's also about um, taking that step back, realizing that you're not always your thoughts and you're not supposed to live in your mind or that negativity. You're supposed to live in the world and in yourself, because if you have to have that foundation within yourself or else it's going to be placed outward. And I feel like a lot of times we project our feelings into external things when it's really an internal feeling. And I don't say that to say, like, you know, if you like something or, or someone does something good for you or, you know, something like that, that is, is selfish or, or anything of that sort. But realize that your feelings are yours. 
your feelings are yours to own your feelings are yours to hold and it's important to realize what dictates those feelings and how much of yourself is going to be dictated by that which is not you and i find it's a lot easier to sort of come out that dictation and come out that that sort of definition and labeling that we give to ourselves the more we allow ourselves to be present enough to see ourselves the more we allow things to be as they are the more we allow ourselves to be as we are you know i feel like life gets too short in reference to that because it's like we're waiting on life to happen we're waiting on specific events to show us how good life can be or how this is that how this is this and things to be grateful for and i made videos like three years ago about gratitude and i really feel like i didn't implement that type of mentality until recently that you really have to be grateful grateful for everything sometimes i i wake up and i'm a little tired and i feel like doing it but like i realize that you know being alive in and of itself is a blessing the possibility of good is a good thing just like the possibility of negativity is a bad thing you know it's about living in the world that you want to create living in your own personal heaven and i feel like that's what's important realizing that you know you don't have to to wait for some experience or some person some situation to give you the validity and the love that you feel like you need to exist and i realize that it's very difficult for some people i realize it's not always easy but i, I don't think that is the importance or the subtlety is in the easiness but in the importance I feel like it's important to practice self-love. It's not always easy. There's always parts of ourselves that are hard to accept. But I feel like once you get to acceptance, it makes everything easier. Because if you stop expecting yourself to act out of accordance to who you are, then you can just be. And I realize once you sort of break down those barriers to that expectation, break down that barriers to who you think you are, it allows you sort of a, a free range to create. To reestablish, to renovate whoever you think you are. Because it's never about casting off old bricks. It's not about getting rid. It's about renovating. It's about making new and, and transforming it into something better. And that's why I feel like our intentions shouldn't necessarily be placed constantly on improvement. But moving forward. But looking at what's in front of us and being present enough to make the choices that would be exemplary of our improvement. I feel like any mental philosophy or any mental um, mentality is is more importantly expressed than it is thought you know it's one thing to think these things and i feel like my life didn't really change until i actually started implementing these things i said and these things i thought because it's one thing to think it but i feel like the affirmation of your thought the affirmation of your mentality affirmation of how you feel about anything it gives you more ground to be yourself within the world because if you keep everything in your mind then that's where you're living and we're not supposed to live in our mind we're supposed to live within the world and that's why I feel like it's important. Because at the end of the day, only you can limit you. Our limitations that we place upon ourselves, I feel like, are sort of contradictory at some point. Because just as easily as we think we can do something, we can easily think we can. And a lot of times I feel like we try to answer our own questions with our own bias and our own insecurity about a certain situation when we can really just go out there and find out. And I feel like going around and find out it has made a lot of things easier. And of course, you know, there's a certain air of caution with that. I feel like that's what your mind should be used for, to realize when things can go south, when you shouldn't do this, when you shouldn't do that because of the implications of the action. But in regards to things we don't know, of course, on a moral level, <laughs> please be moral. Of course, on a moral level, I feel like sometimes you can't. And I feel like once I stop trying to answer every question, once I stop trying to have every answer, it opened me up to learning the answer. And I feel like the first step in learning, the first step in experiencing anything is to realize that you don't know everything. To realize that, you know, you don't have to know everything either. I feel like learning is just acceptance of, of not knowing. Acceptance that whatever is out here and whatever is in front of you isn't always as it seems and isn't always as you project it to be, but how it is. And you have to realize your own influence once you get to that acceptance. And then once you get to realizing your own influence over the action, you have to realize your own influence over yourself. Realize the limitations you place on your own mentality in, re in regards to what you can do. Like there was a point in time where I thought I would never get over like some of the mental traumas or mental issues that I had. Just because I thought I could. Just because I thought this would always be an issue. And there's, there's still problems I have. Like jokingly enough, I still can't do a backflip on a trampoline. 
that was a problem I had when I was like like six. But once I get that backflip down, it's gonna be over with. But there are so many other more grand things that I've uh, overcome and accomplished that I feel like are more more exemplary. But that just goes to show that there's always more stuff to do. There's always more to to reestablish. Because I feel like a lot of who we are is a learned thing. And a lot of times you just have to break the habit of being yourself, break the habit of doing exactly what you think is comfortable and most like you in the moment. And I realized in our times of insecurity, in our times of, of uh, we're lacking passion or intensity or intimacy or affection, we resort to whatever we feel makes us feel most comfortable. And a lot of times that's investing it in something else. Because if we don't take responsibility for our own actions and our own feelings, then we don't have to. We don't have to feel responsible. And we don't have to take control of our own life and everything can just be the way it is or, you know, everything happens for a reason, which I think is true. But you can also be the reason for things happening. You know, everything happens for a reason isn't just to say, like, the world is the big controller of everything, but also you have influence, too. I feel like you're, it's your hand that also plays a role in, in your experience. And that's why I feel like the importance is to realize that you can only limit you. And any judgment cast upon you is not, is you know, someone can cast their judgment and that, that's their opinion. And it's important to realize that their opinion doesn't affect you unless you believe it. Unless it goes to you. Like if somebody came up to me and said, I don't know, I could just be general. Someone like, you're ugly. And I don't think I'm ugly. Then I won't care. Then I won't. You know, I might be like, okay, why are you being negative? Like, why are you projecting this? Why are you doing this? Like, that might be a whole different issue. But in terms of taking things personally, I think we shouldn't. I think we should realize the implications of certain people's actions, the implications of this, is that, and the other, and not try to predict. Sometimes people say stuff, you know, out of accordance to who they are, but in, in regards to how they feel about themselves. And we do the same thing with us. And that's why I feel like it's important to realize your own influence over yourself in regards to your limitations, in regards to whatever you think, in regards to whatever you do. Because at the end of the day, it's always going to be you. It's always going to be you and you versus the situation. You and you with yourself, not even versus anything. Because what's the point of being a world with the world when you can be at peace with yourself? I feel like a life living reference to everything around us will only make us less significant. And when I say that, I don't necessarily mean develop some complex or, or feel like you're the, on top of the world. You know, realize that everyone is a person. It's one thing to realize that everyone has their own complex life. It's entirely different to think that you have your own. That's not to say only live in reference to your own complex life. You know, realize there's other stuff going on. Be mindful of that. Be honest of that. Be compassionate. Be caring. And also give yourself that care. Because I feel like we can only express emotions to the extent at which we give them to ourselves. And what I mean by that is, like, if you really practice love within yourself, I feel like it makes it easier to express love to other people. Happiness, you express it to yourself. Oh, I'm happy I did this. I'm proud of myself for doing this. It makes it easier to express that to other people. And I feel like that's why a lot of us sometimes live in envy in regards to those emotions, in regards to other people's successes, this, is that, and other. Because we don't acknowledge our own successes as much as we do our failures. And I feel like that's why it's easy to jump on somebody when they fail, jump on somebody when something negative happens. Because we jump on ourselves. And that's why I feel like it's important to realize the limitations we place on ourselves just by being us, just by being yourself and just by experiencing life for what it is. And it's not always your fault the way that way that you are right now or, or this is that and the other. But as long as you're conscious of that influence, as long as you're conscious that 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 thing is impacting you, you have to realize the responsibility is now in your hands to fix whatever it is. And I'm realizing that negativity harbored towards other people is felt by you. So what's the point in you constantly holding on to that negativity? I feel like forgiveness is also important when it comes to yourself and other people because it's important to let go of those feelings and that energy. The more we trap ourselves in that forgiveness and those feelings in the past and whatever we feel like happened or shouldn't have happened, the more we're reliving it, the more we're living in a reality that isn't right now. The more we're accepting the, the reality that whatever it is we're doing right now is not sufficient enough to, to give ourselves closure and, and, and validity. And I feel like that's really just because we invest so much of ourselves in, in that which is not us. We accept the fact that we think who we are is dictated by everything else out here when it really is dictated by how we feel and how we perceive it. 
Because all we are is really just the external reaction to, I feel like, the, the external world. And it always is dictated by how you are internally. And that's what I think a lot of people, you know, spiritual uh, YouTubers and yeah, stuff like that say, like, everything is internal. Because it's true. It's, it's about your experience and how much you feel and how much it is projected onto the world around you. And a lot of times I try to feel my happiness. I try to feel that good within myself. So whatever it is I encounter, good will be within Regardless of somebody's negative, somebody's feeling this way, somebody's feeling that way. Sometimes it's beauty. Sometimes it's beautiful to just experience negative things. And I don't mean that in a, in a crazy way, but to realize the complexity of life and how broad things can be just makes me happy. You know, it opens up a new curiosity and a realization that no matter what happens, you can bring whatever you need to bring to a situation as long as you don't limit yourself in doing it. Realize that you could do it just as much as you think you can. And uh, all that to say, thank you. Much appreciated. Um, thank you all for watching this, especially if you made it this far in the video. If you didn't, thank you anyway. Um, I feel like it's important to express gratitude regardless. So uh, I hope you guys are taking care of yourself. I hope you guys are being great, not limiting yourself too much in your beliefs and realizing where they come from. Sometimes our limitations aren't necessarily even, um, you know, only you can limit you, but you have to realize where it comes from. You know, sometimes it's about your past. Sometimes it's trauma from when you were a kid. This is that and other. You have to realize if it's not from you, then you shouldn't be holding on to it. And if it is from you, realize why you're doing it and then get away from it. All in all, thank you. Keep being y'all. Keep being great.